A 23-year-old woman presents to the ED walking, accompanied by her husband. She complains that her heart is pounding too fast. She states that her symptoms started approximately 20 minutes ago. She is pale and complains of feeling weak. She denies having had similar symptoms before. You take her to a room with a monitored bed, obtain vital signs, and hook her up to the cardiac monitor. So, which rhythm is this? This is supraventricular tachycardia, SVT. The rhythm is rapid and regular, and the QRS complexes are narrow, signifying that the rhythm is originating above the AV node. You ask a colleague to insert an IV and call for a 12-lead ECG. What other intervention might you try? Vagal maneuvers. What are some contraindications to carotid massage? A. Presence of a carotid brute. B. Recent history of stroke, TIA, or MI. C. Known cardiac stenosis greater than 50%. D. History of ventricular arrhythmias or symptomatic bradyarrhythmias. Correct answer. Presence of a carotid brute. Recent history of stroke, TIA, or MI. Known cardiac stenosis greater than 50%. History of ventricular arrhythmias or symptomatic bradyarrhythmias. You find no contraindications to carotid massage. You perform carotid massage for five seconds over the point of maximal carotid impulse on both the right and left sides, with a 30-second break in between sides. The patient's heart rate decreases transiently. However, it increases back to 180 BPM soon after you have performed the vagal maneuver. What is your next intervention? Administer adenosine. What is the recommended initial dose of adenosine? The initial dose recommended is 6 mg After administration of adenosine 6 mg, you watch the cardiac monitor and note that the patient's rhythm slows. There is a brief period of asystole. The patient complains of shortness of breath, chest discomfort, and flushing. How should you treat the asystole? There is no need to treat. 
Simply observe. Adenosine has a very short half-life, and the asystole will last only seconds, although it may feel like forever for you and the patient. It is a good idea to warn the patient of the unpleasant side effects of adenosine before administration, which may include those mentioned, as well as lightheadedness or dizziness, a metallic taste in the mouth, nausea, diaphoresis, and impending sense of doom. What is your next intervention? Give adenosine at double the dose, 12 milligram, utilizing the same technique. Following the second dose of adenosine, the cardiac monitor shows that the patient's rhythm has converted to normal sinus rhythm, NSR. Vital signs are stable, and the patient states all symptoms have resolved. 